Hi everyone and welcome to another development progress video. Um, this one's to coincide with the first release of the MDT version 1. Um, I'll be taking you through in this video where you can find the MDT, what features are in the MDT and which features are not in the MDT and how to get started with it. Um, a lot of this stuff will sort of repeat uh, previous videos but this is sort of like a summary of where we are with version 1. So let's get started. So the first place you'll want to go is over to the CADvanced GitHub page, which currently has the CADvanced terminal, which will be being disabled um, and also now has the uh, MDT. So the process is exactly the same as it was with the terminal. All the um, different options for downloading are exactly the same. What is a bit different is the config. Um, so I'm just going to take you through that now. So when you first download the MDT in the folder there, you'll find a file called MDT underscore config dot Lua dot sample. So what that is, is that's a template config file. So what you need to do is make a copy of that and rename it and just take the dot sample off the end of the file name. And then that will be your MDT config. So once you've done that, these are the various options that you can edit. So the first one, CAD URL, is exactly the same as in the terminal currently. Uh, that needs to exactly match the URL of your CAD um, without a slash on the end. So it's just the URL and that's that. Um, the home page option is the text that displays on the home page of the MDT. So when people first open it, that's the text they'll see. Uh, the next option, API token, that needs to be a string of characters. It can be anything you like, um, but it has to be a string of characters. And it also has to match um, a preference within the CAD. You're, if you go into admin preferences in the CAD, you'll see there's an option for the API token. So the token specified there has to be the same as the token specified here. And as I say, it can be anything you like as long as it matches. Um, enable whitelist is the same as the terminal, so if that's enabled, that will only let people with the player permission um, join your CAD. Uh, sound volume is the same as in the terminal. Um, that controls the volume of the sounds that the MDT makes. And finally, the debug option um, is just something that can be turned on if you've got problems with your MDT and someone from support is trying to help you. So that's the config. So once you've set all that up and saved it, uh, you should be good to go. OK, so with this version of the MDT, there's a new thing called markers that's been introduced and they appear in the CAD and in the MDT. So I'm just going to quickly show you how they appear. So the idea of a marker is something that can be added by either a dispatcher or an officer. Um, it can be attached to either a citizen or a vehicle. And it's basically just a, a little alert that will appear when an officer um, is looking up a citizen or a vehicle in the MDT uh, just to draw attention to that particular thing. Um, so if we go into the admin, we can see we've got some new values for citizens. So we've got these citizen markers here. So these can be just anything you like. Um, you just define them there. Um, and similarly with the vehicles, you can have vehicle markers. So we can see here we've got um, a number of ones defined. So the way you use these is in the citizens screen. If you go into a citizen, you can see that we've got a new option here called citizen markers. So if I click on that, this is where I would specify the markers for this particular citizen. So I mean, you can remove them and add them same you would uh, same as you would with uh, with other things so that's the the citizen markers how a dispatcher can add and remove them from a citizen uh, if i go into vehicles you can see that there's also the vehicle markers here um, so they can be added and removed in the same way um, so that's where they appear within the cad um, if we go over to the mdt now um, you'll see how they're appearing there as well so let's do that Okay, so here we are in game. Um, so let's just open up the MDT. So you can see on the front screen there, we've got um, that custom message that I specified in the MDT config. So whatever you put in there will be displayed on the front page of the MDT. Um, so if we go into the status screen first, that's this is exactly the same as it was when 
when I last showed you um, you can leave units you can join them uh, you can set a unit state so yeah all the same as it was before if we go into the search if we're going to citizen search so if I just search for a citizen uh, you can see here we've got the markers that I was just showing you displaying so we've got the citizen markers here um, and they can be edited just like that um, and we've also got the vehicle markers as well um, and they're exactly the same you edit them in exactly the same way um, so that makes it very easy to see if a citizen or a vehicle has something of interest about it um, so if we go into vehicle search which is something new um, and we search for a vehicle you can see again we've got that vehicles markers displayed here and the ability to edit them in the same way and also the owner if they've got any uh, markers they're being displayed here as well so you can see for the, the vehicle search you get a summary of the owner's address um, you get their licenses and you also get their insurance information um, and also with the vehicle search you can also search by by model if you want uh, you can type in um, and it'll narrow down if I spelt it right that would work there we go so yeah so that's how you can search for a for a vehicle so that's where we are with this version of the MDT the first release will have has status and citizen and vehicle searching in it um, you can see there's lots of other menus here but if you go to any of them at the moment you'll get a coming soon message um, obviously as these uh, features are developed they'll be added to the MDT and a new release will be released and you'll be notified that a new release is available in your in your CAD um, but that's where we are currently this is the first release so I hope you enjoy it um, and as always thanks very much for watching